what is going on guys and welcome to html in brackets tutorial now in this video we're going to look at another link well the last one link actually that we're going to cover and this is going to be direct email link right so you can create a link on your web page that would directly email you right however i'm going to show you why it's not actually common practice to do that and what are the pitfalls right but we do the same thing we create a link over here and we do that by creating a opening and a closing tag and i'm going to say i don't know email me whatever something like that right and then again i would have to use the same href which is just the differences over here i wouldn't have to use the http i would have to actually write mail to and put a, over here like a colon over here like this and then i would have to create a, a email address that i have so let's say i'm going to say john at hotmail.com right something like this now here's the deal though the problem is that as the user is gonna is gonna press this he's actually gonna right away you can see as he's pressing you go to your default uh, mail server that you have over here that you're using so it's not like you can go to uh, your uh, hotmail or your gmail or whatever account it's pretty much using whatever the computer has and in most cases people don't want to do that they obviously want to use the mail that they're actually using whether it's again hotmail or gmail or any mail that you would uh, you can think of so you wouldn't want to use this you much rather you could actually just write what is your email and then they can copy and paste that and they can use their their mail provider that they're actually using uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next video.